My name is Casey Schnicker, and I'm the Executive Director of Family of the Americas Foundation. I'm making this video to bust another myth. The myth that if you have a large family, your children won't get enough attention. I am the mother of seven children, and I want to point out that children not only get affection from their parents, they also get affection from each other. And I remember when I had my second and third, the two of them played together for hours a day and gave each other tons of attention. Your children don't just need attention from you and your husband. They need attention from other people too, including their siblings. And something to really think about, we won't always be here. Parents aren't, don't usually outlive their children. Someday we're gonna be gone. And your children will then have their siblings. They'll have each other. I think the hardest number of children I ever had was one. Because when I had that one, I didn't know anything. I, didn't, I had to learn parenting skills. Also, he didn't have anybody else to play with. So I think that was the hardest number of children I've ever had. People tell me sometimes that their teenagers are giving them a hard time. I say one of the best things you can do is have a baby. When you have a baby, it helps make your teenagers tender-hearted, responsible, and considerate. One of the greatest gifts you can give to the children you already have is the gift of another brother or sister. Vocations tend to come from larger families because children are used to giving of themselves to being more sacrificial and to find joy in that. And they're not afraid of hard work. They're not afraid of doing chores because to tell you the truth, I cannot possibly do all the work to keep my household running. So my kids really need to pitch in. They do all kinds of things that make them feel um, like they have purpose and that they are important, like emptying the dishwasher and helping with the laundry and it's really fun as a mother to spend time each day training the children how to do these things well and how to do them in a way that is actually helpful. The first time I heard about the connection between vocations and family size was from Sister Angela of Fatima. So when I helped train the sisters of Mother Teresa to be natural family planning instructors, to be able to share and to be fluent on the teachings of Humani Vitae, and to help couples understand the beauty and gift of their fertility, each year I, I took a poll. I asked the sisters, how many children are in your family? And every year, the average was over 5.5 each year. I think that's so interesting. So we're praying for vocations, but are we supporting couples to have larger families? I'd like to close this video and encourage you that if you want to have a large family, it's okay to do that. Go ahead. Children truly are the secret to happy families.